Hey. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to be doing a love reading. New Zodiac sign of Aquarius. So, if you have Aquarius on your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that has been subscribed to my channel. I love you guys. So, 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 so much. Also, you guys, I'm doing personal readings. So, if you want to know your specific energy, what's going on in your situation, then just email me. My email is in the description box down below. Okay, and I'll let you know the prices. I accept Cash App, PayPal, and Apple Pay as of right now. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. For my collector. So we have here the Death card and the Two of Swords. That could be connected to a Scorpio or a Libra. Yes. And the Four of Cups. It could be connected to a Cancer. So I'm seeing here that somebody here is getting rejected because somebody here either thought that they were supposed to stay in a situation. They was confused. I'm really this person was confused and they was overwhelmed. So it's like they could have pushed both of these people away that they was connected to. This could have been you, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Somebody here was just fed up with love. Like somebody here was like, love is too much. You know, they just had this mindset where they were just like, they just want to be alone or they just want to just mess around and deal with other people and not be committed to one person or somebody here had commitment issues, okay? Or somebody who was trying to avoid some type of change here because they feel like either if they was to go one direction that they was going to have to change and transform. And they also feel like if they stayed in one other direction that they could just do what the fuck they want to do, you know? So, this person, it was like in between worlds, you know. And you know, it's always easy to just do what the fuck you want to do instead of, you know, changing, you know. So, somebody here took the easier route. But it's like, when they took the easier route, they realized, like, no, nobody is fulfilling them, you know. And it's like, they realize that they do want love, you know. And that they realize as well that they had these thoughts here that was holding them back from receiving the highest energy of all, which is love, you know. So I'm seeing that somebody here is getting out their ways and it's like they're not listening to their these, these, yeah, these thoughts in their mind. It's like their mind is playing tricks on them. Somebody here was either playing mind games on you, Aquarius, or trying to manipulate the situation here. The magician in reverse. Hmm. So somebody here also had a creative block here. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody here was just lazy. They didn't feel like doing nothing or they were just depressed. Or this person kept living the past. You know, we could be seeing 222-444-999. Or this person was allowing fear and worry to stop them. Not even as far as relationships and love, but it's like also their career, you know. Somebody here didn't have the motivation or energy here to, you know, reach the highest level of success with, to them, you know. Or reach a goal of theirs or something. We have the three of cups here. Yeah, somebody here could have parted a lot, indulged in the wrong type of people here. Okay. But I'm seeing here that somebody here also realized that somebody here was doing magic on them. Okay. So they, you know, could be like mentally confused and stay stuck. Yeah, somebody here is going through an ego death. We have the judgment and the ten of pentacles here. Yeah, this person, they're making a decision here, okay, to go towards um, a new phase in their life and not stay stuck in some type of family dynamic here where it was just like they were just a provider. It wasn't no love there. It was just like somebody was just working 24-7, you know. The high priestess, yeah, they're following their intuition here, Okay. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10, 3, 3, 3. This person, they could be looking up like synchronicities and stuff. But this person, they could have intuitive gifts as well that they are uncovering. The high pieces here. Well, they got somebody here that's in their family here that's like intuitive or they could be like a spiritualist or something. And it's like they're getting guidance and they're listening to this person you know, about what they should do next. And this person is actually helping them on their, their path. 
Okay, Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person never releasing any baggage, any guilt, you know, any hurt. Okay, any pessimistic pessimism. I mean, the lovers in reverse. Yeah, this person they have made a choice. Mm-hmm. So this person they're ready. Whoever this is. Mm-hmm. We have here the four of swords. Yeah, this person is healing. They're spending time alone. They're resting. Okay. And I'm seeing with the Empress here, they're they're thinking about you. The person that they want to be with, you know, the person that's everything to them. Okay. They could be watching you while they're just laying back, chilling. Eight of Swords here. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Somebody here could have uh, went to rehab or something. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Or it's like this person, they was doing some type of drugs, like overindulging in something here, whether that be alcohol or the wrong people. And it's like, since they have spent time alone, it's like they're realizing how, like, mentally clogged they was. Like, they couldn't even think straight. Now this person, they could think straight here. Now the pinnacles here. Could I fight the Eight of Swords? Yeah. Now somebody here, they're, they're getting to it. They're not making any no more excuses. They can the help that they need it. But they, they can have a mother energy here that's helping them as well to get out of a situation here where they feel like trapped, like they couldn't move or something, or this person could have went to jail or something like that. Now the pinnacles and nine of wands here. Yeah, that's why you either had you know time to grow and transition because this person has went to jail, you know. And you like you stop this person from like coming in towards you sexually, like you cut that off because it could have been very sexual. We have the page of cups here. Yeah, this person they want to apologize to you for how they was treating you. You know, they want to use some type of romance proposal here. We have the charity reverse. Yeah, right now it could be a delay because this person, like I said, they could be in jail. Okay, or they could just be focusing on their, their finances right now, trying to become independent and not be codependent on nobody when it comes to getting money. Okay, but it's like they're so like sexually turned on by you. It's like they're so ready to like put it down on you. Okay, they probably want you to have like 10 kids with them. Queen of Cups, yeah. And it's also giving you time to, you know, keep focusing on yourself, you know, keep focusing on self-care, self-love, okay, you know, and I feel like you're very compassionate and nurturing and caring, okay, and loving, and it's like, I feel like you're going to open this, you're going to open this person, no, it's not, that's not the right way to say it, like, you're going to um, welcome this person with open arms, damn, couldn't say that for nothing. We have the Sun of Wands here, but this person, they think you're going to be defensive. Because like they got a whole different, like, image of you. <laughs> and you're just like, I'm not going to, like, be a bitch or nothing. Like, you know, like, this is my person, you know. <sighs> Ten of Cups, yeah. And you guys are going to create a family together. And this person, they're coming back to fight for this. So whatever, I don't know what they're trapped in or what's going on right now, whether it be a contract or I don't know. But when they get out of it, they're coming to you. I'm hearing that um Tamar song. Is that Tamar Chester Malini? Or is that Keisha Cole? I don't know. We have the sun. Yeah, you guys gonna be happy together, it's gonna be peaceful. It's going to be, you know, serenity, harmony, joy, laughter, positivity. Yeah. And you guys are going to invest and work together. You know, you're going to work, work extremely hard together. So, y'all going to push each other. Y'all going to motivate each other. Power couple for sure. This is what I'm seeing. It's beautiful. And we have here... The Hierophant and the Hermit, yeah. So right now, you know, it could be a lot of reflection going on, a lot of healing. You know, a lot of things changing right now. Okay, but somebody here is doing some soul searching, truth seeking here, and they're trying to see how they could be move better in the future, you know, and not make the same mistakes here. Okay, yeah, somebody here most definitely learned a lesson here. Mm-hmm. 
it's like this person they want to be with you forever you know yeah this person they could be very traditional go for the hermit yeah but this person is like since they've been a hermit it's like they've been watching you okay and it's like they also been like you know planning you know like ways that y'all can invest in certain things like this person is very smart you know they could be reading books um we have here the king of swords yeah they've been you know becoming more intelligent and wise you know studying something here yeah planning on y'all future so it's like they're trying to they're going to come in with ideas here yeah eight of pentacles here as far as you know what y'all can work on and create for y'all selves a business here Mm hmm so that's beautiful this person there they're getting prepared yeah if this new beginning it's pentacles Pentacles this new seed with you so let's get some monology give me some advice spirit guides Night and night and test it to the masses and enjoy the prayer light. Who else resonated with this reading? Okay, so we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So let's read this third quarter moon. Yeah, what a third quarter moment. Okay, so it says, think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there's also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether they are toxic emotions involved, which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you get to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may be also a crisis now which will remind you what you want or what it's time to let go of, so pay attention. Okay, so... Uh, affirmation that you could tell yourself is I am reevaluating the situation. Mm -hmm. And we have here your life may be out of balance and this may be causing your issues. It may be time to hatch a new plan. Yeah, I really got that somebody was making a plan. Like they're using this time and hermit to like, you know, study something. We have something new and exciting is around the corner. Trust may be required to move the situation forward. Yeah, so some trust may be, you know, need to be required. Okay, I don't know if you probably not trusted this person because it's been a minute or, you know, just a lot has happened with you guys or this person they need to trust. You know, they're working on their trust issues here. Okay. Trusting that everything's going to be okay. Okay. So at the time of the third quarter moon, it's teaching you to release into trust. Yeah. So I'll find this is for both of you guys. Okay. Everything's gonna be amazing. Just release anything that won't serve you and trust in this connection. Okay. So I hope that this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.